Hello and welcome to another Maxi Shine video. I thought it's about time I um, start up uploading some new stuff to my YouTube channel. And we'll start off with the Samsung UHD monitor. Pretty cool specs for the price. One millisecond, 60 hertz refresh rate. Not bad for 700 bucks. We'll go ahead and open it up. Part of the stand. Power adapter. Oh, and that would be the rest of the stand. Well, at the moment, I'm still running GDX 580s. So I'm not going to be able to run Ultra HD as yet. But we've got some videos coming up soon of some uh, GDX 780Ti's, the, um, the hydro, uh, hydro copper EVGA versions. There you have it guys, funky little stand, that's um, with their new designs on their OLED displays. Not sure I'm a big fan but you know what, for 700 bucks you're getting a pretty good, pretty good screen for gaming. Have a quick look at the rear. You got your display port adapter, that's right, that's what we need. That's if I want to run 780s later, I'm going to have to use that, but at the moment I'm just going to be using HDMI, which is not going to give me full Ultra HD, but I'll run some benches with my Tri-SLI and compare it to a single 780 Ti. We'll see how that fares, and then we'll go on to SLI and Tri-SLI hopefully, and get some of my fans happy again. has a tilt adjust but no height adjust and also just to control the menus you have a little joystick here I'm not sure if you can see that, we'll get that into the light a bit better little joystick there, you just click on it, your on screen menu comes up and you can just use it left, right, up, down push it in for enter to change inputs or whatever else you like but hopefully um, I'll sell those 580's, you can check out my ebay page maxishine underscore sales uh, the 580s are up there. They'll be replaced with the new Hydrocopper 780 Ti's. Hopefully in Trisol. I'm just updating to the latest NVIDIA drivers. Because at the moment I'm only running 1080 so hopefully at least I can get up to 2560 by 1600. So I can do some benches and then replace the cards. Also stay tuned for a replacement of the G19 and G9X and all the Logitech stuff with the new SATEC keyboards and mouse. 